Alright Kings, alright Kings, we're back in the shop as you can see, there's no one here at the shop right now, I know I don't have my mask, I know that, and as you can tell, as you can tell, as you can tell, your boy has a really, really calm ass hair, I don't have that man bun anymore, we're done with that man bun, it's over, it's clipped, I might get it back soon when I want some praise, I'm not sure yet, we'll fucking see, but my boy Brian did me nice, he really did me nice. That's fucking crazy, bro. Like, I really used to have some crazy ass, long ass hair. And then I was just like, yo, fuck it. Fuck it, bro. We growing, we growing, we want some change. We gotta change ourselves a little bit, you know? That's all it is. This channel is all about growth, y'all. But anyway, go look at that video right now. And I'll get back to y'all in a bit, yeah? How we clips. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up. It's been a minute guys, it's really been a minute since I sat in Brian's chair and got a haircut from him guys. Like I'm telling you, Brian is my sensei, that's my master, you feel me? That's who taught me everything I know. That's who put me on to this whole barbering shit. This is my boy right here. I've been rocking him with him since I was like, what? I want to say like 14 years old when I first started getting haircuts from him. And then ever since then, our bond just kept growing and that I would consider that my friend right there, you know? My mentor, my friend, all that good stuff. Regardless of me bullshitting right now, first thing you guys want to do is just apply some water and get all those knots out. Untangle that hair, guys. That's what you want to do with every haircut. Next thing he's doing right here is just pinning up my hair on the top. He doesn't want any of that shit to get in the way while he's giving me a skin fade. And the best thing I could do is honestly just <laughs> look at me right there. I'm mad hype you get this chair, y'all. <laughs> it's been a minute. I'm, I'm promising y'all. It's really been a minute. But like I was saying, first thing you want to do is run your trimmers right where that box starts becoming a box. And then just dip down towards the back. You want to do the same thing on the other side, guys. And then when you do it on the other side, you just want to bolt everything out below that line with your trimmers right here. Same process. He's just dipping down a little bit below my, like, it's just going in a downwards motion type shit. You're going to see it right here. You're going to see exactly how it's going to look. You see right here how it just slowly, progressively goes down and then it just connects to the back. Right after that, guys, you hit it with the foil shavers. You can use any foil shavers you want. I think he has the bronze series right here. And uh, best advice I can do, give you with this is try to like, with the same thing with clippers, y'all. Try to finesse your way upwards. Try to scoop outwards. You can't really see it as much here because it's such a swift little movement that you can't really see it with the naked eye unless you're actually like focusing on the movement itself. But the only way you could take a line out with these is with the same machine or with the razors, y'all. You do not want to create a line with this. You do not at all because it's going to be such a hassle to take that out. Next thing we are doing, y'all, is having our no guard open. He is actually giving himself like a really good amount of space to blend in from that no guard. Uh, actually, from the trimmers to that no guard open. He is just reverse down fading the same way I do right here. He just has his no guard halfway open and he's just going underneath that top line underneath where he did that no guard open and as he's slowly going down guys he's just going and closing his lever clo slowly by slowly and moving on to the other side guys he's doing the same thing he's doing the exact same thing he did on the other side don't make it too complicated than what it already is it's not complicated to begin with so why make it complicated y'all Haircuts are simple. You just got to know the technique, practice it, get it down, and then lock it in. It's going to be like second nature. My G, I can really cut hair in my sleep, bro. I, I, I promise you, I be sleeping sometimes and my hand be flicking. <laughs> my hand really be flicking, y'all. But next thing he's doing right here that he's going to do on the other side as well, he has his one guard open, right? He's going to create about an inch or so of a guideline and then from there downwards you saw right here he moved his uh 
one guard halfway close, and he's just getting rid of that line he created just now. And as he gets closer to that bottom line, he's just going to keep closing his lever down to create that blend between that no guard and that one guard open. And he's just taking his time using his corners, being really swift. You can see right here, he is almost kind of like scooping out and being really gentle with it, guys. I told you, treat your haircuts like a lady. Don't want to get too rough, but if you have to sometimes, it's all good. You feel me? It's all good. But, for the most part, be really gentle, y'all. Be, be really gentle, because I'm telling you guys. Just, you don't want to be giving these people surgical surgery on their scalps or anything like that, you feel me? This is not get out, guys. This is not get out. You don't want to be doing brain surgery on them, you feel me? So the best thing you can do is be gentle. That's my rule of thumb. If you have to get rough, be a little bit rough with the hair. Don't overdo it, y'all. Next thing, guys. Same step he did with that number one guard. It's just with the number two guard, y'all. He's going up about an inch or so. Number two guard open, and then as he's slowly going down again, he's closing his lever little by little, trying to get rid of as much lines as he can, trying to fade in that fade as much as he can while still leaving a good amount of bulk on the top, you feel me? Like, I, you can see, I grabbed some of my techniques from Brian right here. Some of my techniques are very, very similar to his. Shwaggy? <laughs> Because this is my barber, bro. This is my sensei right here. <laughs> this is my barber right here. That's why. Like I said, the number two guard is going to be the same thing on the other side. Just apply the same rules on the other side. But right here, I got my number three guard. Well, actually, Brian has his number three guard. And he's just flicking outwards up to the crown of the head. The reason why he's especially flicking outwards here is because at the end of the day, want the thigh to have a box type haircut, box shape, you feel me? You don't want to dig into the skull because it's not going to look good on the guy unless that is specifically what they want. Generally speaking though, you want to keep it boxed out, you know? Right here, he just has that number three guard and he's going into town, he's going into work, he's beating that shit up, you heard? And same rules apply same rules apply you just go open and you slowly go downwards and as you slowly go downwards you're slowly closing your lever as well it's not rocket science y'all literally anyone can cut hair you just gotta put in that time that practice that sweat those tears that blood all that good shit i'm really especially saying blood because there have been multiple times where i've cut my knuckles trying to cut some hair you feel me and this still happens to me today y'all don't feel bad if some techniques you still can't do because there's still some techniques that i can't do guys you feel me like i am a terrible barber when it comes to scissors all around i can do a pretty decent job Passable job, y'all, but I still gotta work on my techniques as well, y'all. This is all about growth. And as I'm watching Brian right here, as I'm watching his detail work right here, y'all, I keep learning at what he's doing. I keep practicing. I keep with every haircut, I try to do something new so that way I know and have a new skill set. Just today, I did more or less work with paint semi-permanent paint you feel me and i usually don't even do that but i was like fuck it y'all if this could get me some more money in my pockets and the clients are with it fuck it let me let me do this real quick you know let me do this real quick and like another thing is when you're working with enhancements and stuff like this hair fibers you gotta be really direct with your clients and let them know how long it's gonna last and what you should do in order to keep it preserved y'all My boy Brian is still going at the detail work. He's a little bit of a perfectionist. He's showing off his babbleless trimmers right here. And he saw a little bit of a line where he did his uh, bald line. He's just trying to take that out as much as he can, y'all. He's really just trying to go ham and trying to perfect this cut. I, I, honestly, no, I, I think he's trying to show off a little bit. He's like, yo, I haven't cut him in a minute. I'm going to show him what's up. I'm going to show him the best barber around. <laughs> and going on to the hairline the front of my hairline i got a widow's peak y'all it is what it is it's not super crazy like other people it's manageable but he just starts like i do he starts in the middle and goes outwards actually i start like he does because he taught me this 
Uh, he taught me this technique, start from the middle, go outwards, and do the same thing on the other side. It's going to give you less of a chance for your hairline to be, you know, for it to be like slanted or sloped. or Like, you don't want to go out there looking like Soulja Boy, you feel me? So this is what he's doing right here. And he's just going in, he's using his corner to make sure that that corner pops out. And when he does his razor work, you can see him like literally spreading out the skin on my forehead so I, he doesn't cut me. If he weren't to do that, then there would be a more possible chance, a higher percentage, that he would actually give me a cut while he's lining me up. Same thing with the top, he's just pulling away from where he's cutting because he does not want to cut me and every barber should really, really, really not take this into consideration because a good haircut could only be ruined by bad service or multiple cuts on your on, on, on yourself you know every time you go to a haircut even if it's fresh you don't want to get cut all the time that really deters people from coming to you and he's just taking his time yo he's just trying to be the perfection as he is with his cuts and same thing with the other side start in the middle and then work your way outwards if you have to use your corners y'all don't be scared of taking too much hair in order to make that line up crispy mind you sometimes you might have to push him back just a little bit in order to get it crispy that doesn't mean you're pushing him back an inch you feel me brian did not push me back an inch he literally pushed me back like maybe a centimeter you know maybe even less than a centimeter and that was only to make me look fresh same thing right here he's just going in and out he's just pulling my skin with his fingers you see right there he's just pulling my skin away from where he's cutting so that way he doesn't cut me i told you guys the only way you could mess up a fire haircut is with bad service or mad cuts on yourself after the haircut you don't want to be out here looking like edward scissorhands you feel me not at all because i know i don't want to kings moving on we're about halfway through this video now thank you guys for honestly having such a great attention span and being with me this far right here all i'm doing is just or what brian is doing is just wetting my hair and brushing it all the way through that way when he starts doing the top he just actually has no problems with tanglements or knots or anything like that guys anything at all that's all he's doing right here and when he's starting in the front He's actually doing about four fingers, I believe. He's doing about four fingers and then slowly, gradually doing less fingers as he gets to the back. Mind you, we don't want the man bun. So he is taking a good inch, a good like three inches off my hair, if, if not more. And for a lot of people, this could be difficult, I would say, just because it's such a big change from what you're used to. But at this channel, guys, at this channel, Kings, we don't have to worry about any of that. I encourage change. I hope you encourage change, too, because sometimes change is good. Change is really good. Even though it might seem scary at first, once you get through with it, you're going to be like, God, damn. Why the fuck did I not do this shit earlier? You know, you might be thinking like, yo, how many clips really said change, bro? And this is what I live by every day. You got to keep changing a little bit sometimes you can't keep being stuck in the same pattern every day because that's not how you're living you know i'm not saying y'all shouldn't be doing that but i'm saying me personally i don't like doing that so i like changing myself here and there reinventing myself adapting to myself in different situations it doesn't make me fake because my core principles are still the same i'm still the same man wherever i'm at but I'm just adapting, you feel me? I'm from Brooklyn, I'm from New York. You gotta adapt to different people, adapt to different settings. You can't be a hood nigga in Park Slope. You feel me? Like, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Like, it just can't happen. So, uh, one good thing about barbering is that you get to really connect with a lot of people. And I hope you were watching this whole process of him cutting <laughs> my hair on top because I was just really rambling on. And. Uh, with barbering, it's really cool because you just get to meet so many different people. I cut doctors, lawyers, cops. I cut people that work in Dunkin' Donuts. Every single type of person uh, you can name, I've cut, though. I'm serious. And I've gotten so much good, so many good conversations out of these haircuts. And so many good people came back to see me, even if they don't want a haircut, just because they want to stop by and say, what's up, you know? Right here, you see that line right there? You see that line? My boy, Brian... I'm telling you right now, he's hitting it with the thinning shears right now. He's hitting it with the thinning shears. You see that line right now? That's about to disappear. 
uh, I'm telling you that's about to disappear because all he's doing with those thinning shears is breaking up every other hair, making it appear distorted, making the fade look even blurrier. That's all it is, guys. He's just making that fade look blurrier by going right there and going up. He's just slowly going outwards. He's not digging in too deep because you don't want to leave a patch in the haircut. But you see right here, look, that line is gone. That line is really fucking gone. And I, when I saw this video, I was like, yo, this, this nigga sorcerer. <laughs> He's a wizard, Harry. <laughs> He's a wizard. But I, I still keep getting hyped watching these haircuts from Brian because I learned so much still. And right here, he's just roughing me up a little bit. He's a dickhead sometimes. Look, look, he's just roughing me up a little bit. I was dead ass so peaceful, knocked out. <laughs> he's just trying to make sure I'm alive, trying to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm good, you know? And he really just added some pomade in my hair while it's wet. After that, he's just going to spread it all around. And he's going to actually hit it with the blow dryer in a bit. You're going to see, he's right now, he's just making sure the product gets distributed as evenly as possible blow dryer he just blow dries it backwards because that's the type of style i want to have i want my hair to be back i don't want it to be for like anuela uh -uh, you know um that's just the way i like it. i like some rico suave type shit you know and i do have curls too i i noticed i actually have a little bit of like curly hair it's a little wavy more or less and he actually does bring out the curls in my hair with this technique right here. You can just see how he's just grabbing a section of hair and then kind of twisting it upwards. That's so my curls could actually come out. So that style could actually come out. So I have a little bit more volume with that blow dryer and the type of combing he's doing right now with the type of technique he's doing right now. You could do this with a whole bunch of haircuts. I'm sorry, y'all. I really burped. <laughs> but you could do this with a whole bunch of different haircuts, y'all. But one of the main reasons why he's doing this technique with my hair, it's so, it has more volume, y'all. My hair cut would not look this good like that without the blow dryer, because my hair is really, really flat sometimes. I feel like it has no volume when it gets longer. It's just down, you know? And right here, you see my hair is up. The only reason why it's up like that is because he put in that pomade and he took the time to style my hair with the blow dryer. If you really don't have a clue on how to do any of this, just hit me up on my IG, hit me up on my YouTube, and I will be happy to answer you guys whatever questions y'all got. My IG is right there on the screen, hobby underscore clips. I don't know why y'all waiting so long. I don't know why y'all waiting so long, y'all. And right here, he styled my hair really neat really neat but he's also going to show you guys that you can style it in so many different ways it doesn't have to be neat and perfect like this it can be messy as well but it really can just be messy too man right here all he's doing is just taking away extra hairs that are around my neck around my ears making sure that i'm good as soon as i leave that shop as soon as i leave that chair and this is actually a pretty fire cut, y'all. This is really dope. I haven't had a cut like this in fucking ages, y'all. I haven't had time to go to him because my boy's always bugged. As a barber, you know, it's good to have your time alone. But, you know, sometimes these guys just want to come at you sometimes with, like, yo, you open, you open, you open. <laughs> and right here, like I said, he's just messing it up because he's trying to show you guys that you can style it any different way you want. It could be clean cut. It could be messy. It could be whatever you guys want. It could be to the other side as well with this type of cut you have so much variety in what you want to do and if it was shorter if it even was a little shorter i could even make like a little full hawk i could look like a young prince royce you feel me but that was the cut that was the cut that was the cut and that was the cut like cocaine y'all that was really the cut is looking dope i liked it so much that i'm definitely gonna go back to my boy brian and have him hook me up with a fade y'all he's still messing around with the hair because he's just trying to show you how good it looks how great you can style it and this is probably a good cut for a lot of people uh, I would say this is really a basic, not a basic cut, but a pretty standard cut for a lot of people. Mint skin fade, comb over on the top, some curl action on the top too. And you see in my face, I'm just like really loving the experience he's giving me because everything I learned and preach, I learned from him. Whatever he preaches, I preach too because I've been there, I've been in the situation where I've had no clients in the service. The 
barber is really what keeps bringing the clientele back. You know, they come back for hobby clips. They don't come back. I mean, they do come back for the haircuts. Obviously, that's one of the priorities, but they still come back for hobby clips, y'all. Make this about you and your client, bro. And then I promise you, no one's ever going to want to leave your side. They'll even follow you to another shop if you're that cool with your clients. You feel me? And <laughs> my boy's still going at it, yo. My boy's still going at it. <laughs> um, let me know if you guys really like this video. Uh, I really enjoyed the experience of filming this video with my boy Brian. Follow him on IG. I'll really put that in the description below. And you see what I've met by all my curl actions right there. I couldn't have gotten that type of curliness without him blow drying my hair. I couldn't have gotten my hair that up without him blow drying blow drying my hair sorry for stuttering i'm just so excited right now you feel me and the only thing i would have probably added after this was maybe some hairspray just to keep everything in place and you see that fade y'all you see that fade it's a high skin fade and the hairline's there the beard is there the mustache is there skin fade is there this is overall a really good clean cut and i'm 110% satisfied as soon as I walk out the crib and this is how a lot of my clients feel this is how a lot of your clients should be feeling y'all y'all are kings y'all are legends I love y'all keep being safe keep being productive let me know if you have any questions oh, that's ISO. <laughs> Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound Fucking my post, this ain't now, I've been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah